Whew. Damn, dude. Fuck. I got worked, bro. I was just jogging uh, the track right here right now. I had my um, I had my fuzzy hood on, like this, and I was jogging, like I was fucking a uh, little Mac on fucking um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Like, oh man, I was fucking, I was on it, bro. I was on it. So, yeah, dude. I'm I'm stepping my game up right now. It's not any girls around, but you know, part of your part of part of this game is uh, mastering your health and fitness and, and getting that uh, that beautifully sculpted body that uh, that women love. You gotta you gotta. Well, we're gonna get into this. You want to know how to become uh, amazing with women. You want to become great with girls. You want to be uh, you want to get good fast in this game. There is a secret, and I'm going to tell you that secret. And of course, it's going to take a few minutes to explain because it's not a it's not an, a close-ended question. It's not a yes or no answer. It's not a tell you, you know, one simple quick phrase to to solve all your problems. If you're serious about getting good with girls, then uh, I'm going to tell you the secret. I'm going to tell you the secret right now. So check this out. All of these successful people in the world, they know something. They know that what the man, the mind of, uh, of man can conceive and bring itself to believe, it will achieve. All of the successful people know the fact that thoughts become things. If you can see it up here, you can hold it in your hand. All of the successful people know that it's going to take you, for whatever you want, a significant amount of hard work, dedication, passion, burning passion, burning desire, and persistence, day in and day out, to get what you want. They also know a secret that whatever you want, the, the key component is imbalance. You might want to write that one down. Now I'm going to explain to you what is imbalance. For example, if you had a goal to become a champion weightlifter, you wanted like huge fucking muscles. You wanted to, you wanted to be a great weightlifter. Not just get in shape, but I mean like you want to be a fucking champion. You want to win, uh, you know, awards and shit. Well, that's gonna take an enormous amount of time in the gym, working out, it's going to take an enormous amount of knowledge that you're gonna to have to study and acquire about diet, nutrition, about eating the right things, aligning with the right people, the personal trainers. And on the other side of that, it's gonna take a lot of sleep because muscles, they don't grow when you're awake. You go to the gym and you, you stretch the muscle and you tear the muscle on a cellular level, and then when you go to sleep at night, the muscle regenerates itself if you give it the proper raw materials like protein powder, or you eat you know, good chicken, fish, you take in your dietary supplements, and then uh, when you sleep at night, the muscle will 
think of it like when you cut yourself, you know, you get a, then you get a scab and then it heals back up. Well, the muscle does that in, in a sense too. The, it doesn't get like a, a hard scab. It gets just, it, it, it repairs itself on a cellular level and then that's how it gets bigger. And over time you, you get bigger and you get bigger and you get bigger. Well, in order to become this champion weightlifter, well, you're not going to have time to, let's say, work your nine to five job. You got to be in the gym six hours a day, as, uh, as uh, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, and he's the top uh, authority on uh, weightlifting in the world. Four to six hours a day. So, you know, you're going to have to cut back on your work time. So maybe you can't make as, not, uh, as much money, you know. Are you going to be able to sustain a healthy relationship? Probably not, you know. You're never going to be able to see your girlfriend because you're going to be lifting weights all the time. It's going to put stress on the relationship. You know, maybe you have another passion, like you like to play guitar too. Well, might as well let that guitar collect a little dust for a while because... There's no time to play that guitar. You gotta lift those weights. You wanna be the best. You wanna be a champion weightlifter. So the secret is in balance. These guys, very successful guys uh, that I know that are multi-millionaires, they're a little overweight because they're working. They don't have time to, to go to a gym all day. And most of them are single because they're number crunching analytical nerdy motherfuckers that don't know how to talk to girls and uh, they don't have time that you know the relationships that they do it get into you know those are the types of, of men that women describe as like you know he's a workaholic right because he's focused on making money he's not focused on a relationship he's not focused on getting more fit you know, if you want to make a lot of money you got to spend a lot of time working so, uh, you know, like uh, I had six pack abs in, in 2012 and basically for the last five years, I've sat at my desk roughly uh, six days a week on average, sometimes seven days a week, uh, 15 hours a day typing, writing all, all these books. So I put on weight. Haven't um, necessarily dated that much because I'm typing. I don't have time to, to go out and, and, and fuck with these hoes. I don't got time. Gotta make that money. You know what I'm saying? Imbalance. And it sucks because sometimes, you know, people, we want it all. And there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with uh, striving to have it all. But let's just kick the logistics here. Sometimes you have to give up in order to get. It's just the way that uh, the universe works. Imbalance. The good news is that uh, it is possible for you to get good with girls. But you are going to have to dedicate your life to this game. And it's no easy task. When I uh, started really getting into this game, this was not a this was not a casual thing. Day in and day out, I was reading anything I could find on seduction, on relationships, on dating advice, on how to pick up girls. I looked up anything I could that had to do with PUA or the seduction community. I spent thousands that's not an exaggeration. I spent three thousand dollars alone just on David D'Angelo's products. I spent several thousand dollars on uh, many of Mysteries products. I bought Tyler Durden's The Blueprint Decoded, $600. It's 
20, uh, 20 discs, 20 hours long of this guy just talking, giving dating techniques, incredible stuff. Okay? It's going to cost you money. You can torrent a lot of this stuff, and a lot of it's free on YouTube now. You guys don't have to go through the struggles that I had to back in 2006 to get this material because there, what, YouTube didn't exist, you know, back then. Um, well, YouTube was created in 2006, but it was videos of like people's cats. It wasn't like you could go to a channel and fucking learn how to play guitar from scratch or learn how to pick up girls from scratch or, you know, there wasn't things like bodybuilding.com with 8,000 fucking videos and testimonials and success stories. It was very different. So be prepared to, to spend money. Uh, and one of the fast, the, the, the fastest way you're going to get good is to actually get a coach, get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. Where you actually have someone like myself, when a student hires me to, to take them out and show them how to, to pick up girls, the benefits of having a coach in real life is that you have a second pair of eyes on you to basically correct all your blind spots. I might tell a student to go talk to a girl and he he goes and talks to her and he thinks that he did great but he didn't see what I saw but what I saw was his head was down his hands were in his pockets I heard him mumbling because I, I have him on radio on a lapel mic and a, and a two-way radio I saw him like you know jiggle his foot a little bit like that as he was talking, looking like a fucking fag, like, uh, like a fucking goober. And girls notice all that shit. You gotta be solid, smooth, confident when you talk to women. So body language, you'll wanna learn too. That's a whole other subject. Neuro-linguistic programming, that'll help. Hypnosis, that'll help. Dog training, that'll help. Learning metaphysics, that'll help. Learning uh, bar magic and coin tricks, that'll help. And each one of these little subjects that I'm giving you, psychology, evolutionary psychology, sociology, human behavior, like each one of these is like a whole fucking college course. When you get into this game, like it's like having a fucking PhD. I mean, I've been studying seduction well, since 1995, so 21 fucking years. No, it's 2007, 22 years now, I guess. Did I do the math right? I don't know. 22 fucking years of, of, of learning this game. It's not easy. To learn all of this stuff, to like become a master in all of these things, like it takes time. It's not something that you, that you do in one day and get girls at the end of the week. You know, I can teach you a few little magic tricks to be able to go get a girl's phone number in 15 seconds, that's not hard. I can get a girl's number in 2.7 seconds. It is the world record in the pickup community. How do you get a girl's number in 2.7 seconds? It's, you know, it's like a magic trick. It doesn't mean that she's gonna call you back, it's just, you could do it, you know? It's kind of stupid, actually. He's just kind of walking up. Can I get your number? And as soon as he kind of says, like, yeah, that's where the timer clicks. Boom. You know, click. If you slow it down, you know, click. Can I get your number? Sure. Click. 2.7 seconds. And then you're pulling out your phone. You get her number. Get her Instagram. Sometimes you can just walk up to a girl and just and you could just do that. You could just be like, hey, you're cute. Can I get your number? And she might go, sure. You know, what did that take? Seven seconds. Hey, you're cute. Can I get your number? Sure. That's like four seconds. It's not hard. It's a magic trick, though. Does, does, does it mean that she's going to call you back? Does it mean she's going to fucking spread her legs and let your fucking get your, get your dick inside of her and fucking scream out, fuck me, daddy? Like, it's not necessarily that she's going to fuck you, but you know, I can give you some magic tricks, but is that going to really get you the results that you want with women? You know, you're not going to be a superstar player in a day. It takes time. But basically what I'm saying is you have to dedicate your life to this. You have to make it your passion. 
You know, if it's something, let's say, you want to do, but you're like kind of like, eh, I don't know. I'm like, like, I really want to get good with girls, but I don't know if I want to put in the work. Like, you're going to have to reprogram your mind. You have to understand at the basis of everything that the purpose of life is to survive and reproduce. And you have 28,251 days to do that, or evolution will, and I quote, unapologetically weed your genes out of fucking existence. Like, do you understand that? If you don't get this part of your life handled, poof, you're gone, bro. Evolution will weed you out. That's why you have to understand that picking up girls is a matter of life and death. It is that serious. I mean, use that. You should use that right there as your fucking motivation. If you don't, you know, get this part of your life handled, that's it. It takes 21 days, approximately, to build a new neuro network or neuro pattern, neuro pathways, dendrites in your brain. If you can manage to do something consistently for 21 days in a row, your brain will actually rewire itself and that new pattern that you put in there, it'll become part of you. You know, for example, if you want, if you were out of shape and you wanted to start getting in shape again, you will need to, for 21 days in a row, consistently work out. And after that 21 days, then your subconscious mind will basically force your body into action because it knows that that's just a pattern. That's what you're supposed to be doing. So if you want to get good with girls, you could use that same principle and basically say for the next 21 days, like after you watch this video, for the next 21 days, just make sure that you are constantly thinking about game, that you are thinking about getting good with girls, that you are seeing an image in your head, a clear image, clear and concise of you being that rock star with two girls on you, wearing some shades, you know, being cool, having girls fucking rub you like a fucking, like the man, like a superstar. Start getting that image in your head of being that cool guy with fucking hot bitches all over you. Maybe, maybe, maybe you want the image in your mind of four girls on you, like maybe a blonde, a brunette, a redhead, and a fucking hot Asian chick. I don't, whatever you want, bro. And, and just create those images and start thinking about it and start seeing yourself as that guy. And then go on YouTube and type in PUA and start, start um, watching other guys videos and see what they have to offer you know in, in this community in the seduction community there's two basic let's say methods of getting girls they call it like indirect or direct you're either the type of game that's walking up to the girl and saying hey I like you you know and I want you or you're the type of guy who's who's playing indirect and you're acting like you're hiding your intentions and you're just kind of being a cool guy Hey, you girls seem, uh, you girls look like trouble. Let me ask you this question, blah, blah, blah. Even though she knows you like her, but you're, you're making it, you're trying to get her to chase you. And, and there's a lot more than that. There's things like, what's that Ross Jeffries shit? I'm, 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 I'm drawing a blank right now. Speed seduction. Using neuro-linguistic programming and hypnosis and embedded psychological commands to, to uh, get girls to like you. Kind of like you're talking to her and uh, maybe you, maybe you uh, ask her a question like, uh, this, is, this is a Ross Jeffries one. Interesting guy to check out. Um, interesting stuff. Definitely some value there. Um, he has this one line where he does these things called points. For example, he'll frame his face with both hands. I can't do it because I have a camera. But he'll say something like, okay, ladies, let me ask you a question. Imagine... Um, you're perfect guy as he points to himself saying perfect guy so it's like mental anchoring and the girl will start kind of imagining him as the the perfect guy and then he'll say so you know now when you picture this guy as he's like framing his face with both hands obviously so it goes like this so 
when you picture this guy, the perfect guy, what do you, what, what comes to your mind? What kind of fe feelings, whatever. So he'll, he'll do stuff like that to get girls and, and that stuff works great too. Um, there's a lot of different methods and some people are very partial to their particular method. Whereas my method is no method. I consider my method liquid because I learn everybody's shit. And at the end of the day, I use the techniques that are going to get the job done, that are gonna get the girl. Because I understand that not all girls will respond to direct. Some girls want a challenge and they want, a, they want a guy who's, who's playing hard to get. And some girls will respond to direct and they do want a dominant alpha guy to come up and claim them and say, hey, I think you're hot, let's fuck. Like, some girls are just like, all right. Of course, then you gotta actually be that guy. I had a student that I took out on a boot camp and I told him, the next couple girls that come up, just um, just ask, just when they're walking by, just be like, want to fuck? And he's like, there's no way that's gonna work. And I'm like, have you ever tried it before? And he's like, no. Then how do you know? So I, he tried it. He's walking up to a girl, want to fuck? Some of them are like, no, as, as you could imagine. Then a girl walked along who was drunk, fucking wasted, and he goes, want to fuck? And she goes, she stopped. She goes, sure. She was DTF, homie. She was down. And, it, and then he goes, I'm just kidding. I'm like, motherfucker, bro. Like, you could have pulled that bitch right back up to her room. She's probably staying. She was, it was like down in front of the Excalibur. You could have pulled her right back up there and fucked her. It works. People t think that that doesn't work. Girls, girls like sex too, guys. Girls want some, some of that D. You got to be the man who's actually going to give it to them, though. Can't be no bitch. Sexuality, tantra sex, those are other things you could study. Massage, I have a degree in uh, massage and aromatherapy, Swedish massage particularly, uh, that I got when I was living in England. Learning how to be a certified masseuse will definitely uh, help you become a better lover in the bedroom. It's an interesting topic too. You tell a girl you're a massage. What do you think is the first thoughts in her head? Or I mean, the masseuse, not massage. Uh, she's gonna start thinking about, oh, I guess he can, he can give me a massage. Yeah, you know. And and if if you can imagine, like, the subject itself, like of massage on its own. I mean, I'd take you weeks or months to learn and to master. You know. Kama Sutra, there's like 600 different sexual positions in there. That's a good thing to read. In my, uh, in my book, 10 Steps to Success, I actually have a guide inside that basically is like the top 25 programs and books to, to read that have all the best material in it, all the bulletproof shit. Look up stuff by Bad Boy, Bad Boy Lifestyle. Simon Spencer has a book called I Love Day Game. That's a good one to read. Bang by Roosh. The Lay Guide by Tony Klink. The Mystery Method by Mystery. Revelation by Mystery. Anything by RSD Todd. Uh, my buddy Christian S. Valentino. Have her wanting you.com. Anything by him is fire. You know, I could go on and on about all these names. Just start studying. Like you, basically, you have to dedicate your life to this. Um, you like you're not a POA nine to five. You are a POA twenty four seven, and. And then it comes down to, if you wanna become great with girls, the, the, the main thing is that you have to become a great guy. You wanna become a catch. It's not just about the pickup. The main thing is about building a life. It's about building social alignments.
You know, stepping up your game in all aspects of life. Stepping your game up in business. Get, get that promotion at work. Get the better car, the bigger rims. Start saving uh, for a better home, a better apartment. You know, if you're living in your mom's house, work on moving out of your mom's house. If you're in your first apartment, work towards getting a better apartment. It's, it's, it's just always, it's, it's like a lifelong journey. It's like a, uh, a quest for manhood. You know, and, and, and don't ever think that there is a top tier. There's always a next level. Socrates says, uh, the only true wisdom in the universe is knowing that you know nothing. And someday you may get to a point in this game where you feel like you've learned it all. And you need to get yourself in check real quick. Because I've seen people who basically plateau acting like, oh, I already know all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read all this stuff. But they don't have women in their life. They're broke, they're fat, their life is fucked up, they don't have any friends. You know, and, but, but they know it all. But they know it all. That ego gets in the way. You will never know it all. There is more knowledge than anyone can consume. And there's more knowledge being created all the time. We're always expanding. The universe itself is actually getting bigger as we speak. You know, stars are dying, new stars are forming, new planets are cooling down, galaxies are colliding, stretching, you know. New things are always happening. We're always uh, moving towards expansion and further expression of of life, you know. Always keep growing. You know, become uh, become the best man that you can become. So that ultimately you can attract the best woman. Try to study all kinds of different subjects. You know, um, if you have time, you know, if, if, if you're if you're over. 18 watching this, maybe you just got out of high school, you know. I'm not advocating like go to college because college is really just a, a place to train you to be someone else's employee. But go to take a psychology class. I think it's called Psych A or Psych B. I took it back when I was at El Camino College back in California. Learning, a ba learning some basic human psychology Will, will help you to understand people a little better. Read books on female psychology, like the female brain, or uh, sexual behavior in the human uh, female. Get into Kinski, he's got some, uh, some good insights on a lot of things. Just always be learning, you know? Always keep stepping up your game. Uh, always keep trying to keep building value as a man. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, this is a life journey. It's not something that you, that you do for a week and then you become great and fucking girls jump on your cock. It doesn't work like that. You know, I wish it, I wish it did. I wish there was a, some kind of fucking magic trick that you can do. But it's 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 really about at the end of the game. It's not about pickup it's it's self-improvement and it's about you know it's about becoming the best you stepping up your game looks like I'm running out of battery anyway protein shake time for me that was good cardio thanks for hanging out and um, see you uh, on the next one be safe.